another Liberal MP from the Greater Toronto Area, this guy named Gang Tan, born in Beijing, China. And there is a large Chinese population in Canada. And most of them love Canadian freedom. They love the rule of law, especially. They love property rights. They love being in a de democracy, not being in the oppressive regime and corruption of China, where even religion is banned. But what about Gang Tan? Well, let me, look at, let me show you this. Liberal MP Gang Tan acted as intermediary for businessmen now accused of fraud. That's the headline in the Globe and Mail. Let me read the first three sentences to you. I won't go too deep, but this is weird. Let me read this, the three long sentences. Ready? Liberal MP Gang Tan hand delivered a letter to a top official at the Canadian Embassy in Beijing and personally spoke to Chinese authorities on behalf of a Liberal Party donor who has been charged with money laundering and the fraudulent sale of hundreds of millions of dollars in securities to Chinese citizens. Let me read two more sentences. Chinese Canadian businessman Xiao Hua Gong, also known as Edward Gong, was arrested in Toronto last week and the Ontario Securities Commission has charged him with fraud over $5,000, possession of property obtained by crime, laundering proceeds of crime, and uttering a forged document. None of the allegations have been proven in court. Okay, last sentence. On June 1st, Mr. Tan acted as an intermediary for Mr. Gong, who at the time was under criminal investigation by the RCMP, Ontario Securities Commission, and China's Ministry of Public Security in connection with a $466 million pyramid scheme. Okay, I'll stop quoting, but do you get the picture here? Who's he working for? The citizens of Don Valley North? Or this guy, Mr. Gong, accused of huge crimes? By the way, he doesn't even live in Don Valley North, this Mr. Gong. Since when does a Chinese-Canadian MP from Don Valley North fly to Beijing to represent the interests of an accused criminal and to talk to Chinese officials directly, personally? Oh, and he's on a friendship committee between Canada's MPs and China. What promises did he make to the Chinese authorities in return for asking them to go easy on this liberal donor in Canada? What the hell was he doing? That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.